so dreamy. I just want them all over my face. Hi guys! So I know it's been a long time since I've done a favourites video. I was at a point where I was doing monthly favourite videos, but because I've not posted for like four months, whoops! There's obviously a lot to catch up on, so I guess you could say this is like April favourites or whatever, but really it's a favourites video from December. I was watching some of my old favourites videos just to kind of get back into the flow of it before I started this one, and to just remember what products I've actually featured. And what I noticed from watching my old videos is that a lot of the products are NYX. Obviously I do work for NYX and I do have a lot of NYX products so naturally they're going to be my favourites when I am using them every day. So this is going to be just like a general favourites and then I'm also going to bring out a NYX favourites video as well. So my first favourite is the RCMA No Colour Powder. I know I'm a little bit late to the party with this one but I recently got sent this from the Makeup Armoury so since I received it I've pretty much been using it every single day. I'd say it is definitely one of the best translucent powders that I've ever used. It does exactly what it says, it doesn't leave any colour, feels really light on the skin. Just love it in general. While we're on the subject of powder, I have had this for quite a while now, but obviously you wouldn't know that because I've been away from YouTube. It's the Air Spun Powder. This is absolutely phenomenal. This does leave a little bit of like a peachy kind of colour on the skin, but that's perfect for me because I have a light skin tone. I do think that this powder has really helped like minimalise the look of my pores. It just makes my face look a lot nicer. Like this and the RCMA, hands down, best powders ever. This one is great for all over. The RCMA one I prefer just for like baking and that kind of thing. My next favourites are all from Kat Von D Beauty. I did get sent these products but that doesn't change my opinion on them whatsoever at all. If you watch my review of the Metal Max palette, I did buy that palette with my own money and you'll see that I did give a really honest opinion on that and just because I've been sent these that's not why they've made it into my favourites. So my first favourite from Kat is actually this shade and light brush. So this side is called light and this side is called shade. This side is meant for highlighting and then this side is meant for contouring. I've actually got two brushes because I like to use one purely just for contouring. I'll kind of do my contouring with this side but then kind of buff it out and blend it into the skin with this side. And then I also just like to have the other one just for highlighting. I know these brushes are a little bit more expensive but I would definitely pay for these with my own money like this is honestly the best contouring brush I've ever used and if you think about it kind of like money wise you are getting two brushes in one so it's really not that bad. My next cat favourite is the Locket Powder in Petal. I was sent the whole range of these. These ones are too dark for my skin tone um, but I'm glad that I have them just so I can put them in my kit but this petal one is amazing to highlight light skin with it's just really really nice soft finish really love the finish of the powder and it's kind of pushing me to want to buy um, cat translucent powder just because if these are so good I feel like the translucent powder would definitely be good as well. Next from Kat is the Locket Setting Mist. This is honestly one of the best setting sprays I've ever used. I find that a lot of setting sprays, when you spray them on the face, they do tend to make the face quite wet. It doesn't really come out as a mist, they normally come out like big splodges everywhere. But this one is the only one that I've used that comes out as a complete mist. Like no matter how much I put on, it doesn't make my face look visibly wet but you can tell that it's like nice and moisturised. Mm -mm -mm. Cause it's a fine mist as well, it's also really cooling when you spray it. I just absolutely love it and it's got like a cucumber scent, which I just think makes you feel like really fresh and nice. I just love it, basically, I love it. Then last but not least from my cat favourites is the Pastel Goth Palette. Oh my god, I am absolutely in love with this palette. I love the packaging, I just love everything about it. It is a lot smaller than Kat's other palettes, but I really, really love this one. So these are the shades inside. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
One of my favourite shades is called Skull. I've noticed that in most cat palettes she does include like a white shade and they're all slightly different but they are all my favourite white shades from any eyeshadow company ever. I just think cats like really white pale shades are just incredible. Then you've got the grey shade called Dagger, Gloom, Doom, Dope, Meow, Clementine and Star. They're just really, really nice. On my Instagram, I did a look with this palette and it was like a rainbow glitter pastel cut crease. I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial for that because I really, really loved it. I just think the quality of Kat Von D eyeshadows is amazing and I'm just loving the packaging and the color of this palette. Like, it's just definitely a favorite. This next product is something that I'm a little bit behind on again, like I was with the RCMA powder. With products that are trending, I generally wait until they've calmed down a little bit and then if people are still talking about them and still using them, that's when I kind of swoop in and buy them because I know that it's not just a phase or a trend, it is a really good product. So that's the Sleek Solstice Palette. I do really, really love this. You would have seen it absolutely everywhere online. Literally everyone uses this. This is what it looks like. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. You've seen it, you know it, you probably own it, you love it, it's great, end of. Next onto my favorites list, is some pigments from a company called Sin Art. They all come in these tiny little pots, but honestly, don't let the size fool you because a little goes a long way. These are some of the most like pigmented pigments I've ever used. They're just really, really stunning. They're really, really shiny, and one of them actually looks like a, a solid glitter, but it's not, it is just an eyeshadow pigment, but it's incredible. Again, I was sent these. Um, I'd never heard of the brand before, I don't normally like just accept anything that anyone wants to send me but if I go online and see a product and it's something that I want to try then I'll obviously say yes. Again that's not why it's in the favourites video. I don't give a shit whether I spent my money on it or not. I would always give you my honest review. So this is the shade in Diamond Flash. You can already see I've only got about half a pot left because I keep rinsing this absolutely love it this is the one that i think looks like actual glitter but it is just a pigment it's just incredible this one is the shade ruby and this looks stunning on the eyes it's just insane i keep wearing this one quite often this one is called glossy brown i'd say out of all of them this is definitely one of my favorite shades this one is called tan pearl and this just makes the most amazing inner corner highlight and then this one is magic blue it reminds me a lot of sugar pill lumi so here's just a few of the shades that they've sent they're just incredible like look at this one it kind of looks as though there's nothing there and then bam that's the one i was talking about it just looks incredible looks like a glitter my next favorites are from a brand called makeup obsession it's two highlighters this one's called lightning and this one's called pop they're really, really, really high pigmented. I picked these up in Boots just on the off chance and they are really, really good. They're really, really cheap and good value for money, but they are really high pigmented as well. That's the shade in Lightning. As you can see, it's so pigmented. And then that one is in the shade Pop. I really like Pop because it has like a greeny blue tinge to it. But I just think for the price of these highlighters, they're absolutely stunning. Even though those highlighters are at a cheaper price, I think the formula is really, really nice and lightweight and it doesn't catch in any texture on the skin. My next two favourites are from Urban Decay. This is the Liquid Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the shade Recharged. It's really, really nice. They do apply better with a finger than they do the applicator or a brush but I still kind of pile it on with the applicator anyway. I think it works really nice both ways. This is the Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Distortion. I bought this just to give it a try basically and I really, really like it. I think out of all of the shades, this is probably the only one that I would buy because I prefer using actual glitter than glitter liners. But I think this is a really nice product, especially for like the inner corner. I just kind of pop it on and then just pat it in with my finger really really like it. Next on my favourites is the Infallible Matte Foundation. The reason why I have this is because as I was moving to London I didn't have a lot of spare money to be like splashing out on £30 foundations, especially with the rate that I go through foundation. I just didn't have enough money to be buying that. And this was on offer in Boots when I was working on the NYX counter in Boots and I think it was like 
three for 15 or three for two or something like that. I can't remember, but it was like a good price. So I got three of these just to try. And I'm glad that I did because it's really nice foundation for every day. Um, it sometimes does make my skin look a little bit dry, but it just depends on the kind of day that I'm having and how my skin looks that day. But in general, I think it's a really nice foundation for the price. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice that I've been doing lots of glittery looks, glitter cut creases, big chunky like glitter in my hair, glitter roots, like just loads and loads of chunky glitter. And I mainly use three brands. Two of these brands have been sent to me. One of the brands I did purchase with my own money. They do all obviously sell a similar product, like chunky glitter, but I feel like they are all very different and I'm gonna tell you why. The first brand is Glitopia. These were sent to me and they did send me quite a few different pots. These four are probably my favorite pots. What I like about Glitopia is that they kind of mix chunky glitter and really big like sequin chunks together. This is the first one. It's just like iridescent different size chunks together. This one is really nice to mix in with other glitters. The only problem with these glitters is that they don't have the name on them. So I honestly don't know what shade this is. This one is my favorite because it's called Ziggy Stardust. It's all like stars and moons in David Bowie inspired colours. So that is obviously why this one is my ultimate favourite. This holographic one catches the light so incredible. I just used this for my glitter roots in my Full Face and NYX Disco Glam makeup. So it was this glitter that was actually in the part in and it just picks up amazing. If you can get one glitter for festivals, make sure it's this one. Then lastly, this one is all stars and moons and this one is really cute as well. The next three were also sent to me as well. This is by a brand called Go Get Glitter. These are incredible because they come in like little sets. So sets that complement each other well. And you can see from these that I have actually used them loads. What I often do is mix the different brands that I like together to create more custom glitter shades. So this is these three. Again, I can't remember the names of them. I kind of wish glitter brands would put names on them. But if you go to their website, you'll be able to find this straight away because they do come in trios. So it's the one, I think it might be like princess or pink or something. I can't really remember, but I love this one the most. I mix them all together and then I just use them for the sides of my head for a nice little glitter undercut. The next chunky glitter brand that I really love is called Dust and Dance. These are definitely my favourite two shades from them. I did pay for these with my own money and I absolutely love them and 100% would buy them again. Out of all the chunky glitter, I feel like this is the most wearable for the eyes. The other ones are a little bit too chunky. They're great for like lips or like hair and things like that and body but I feel like the Dust and Dance ones are definitely the best for like eye area. This one is hands down my favourite. I use this on all of my eye looks where I've got like chunky eye glitter on. It's always this one. And the best thing about these glitters is that they're only like £3.50. I also really love this one. It's like a holographic rainbow mix. There's like so many different colours in there. It's just gorgeous. So last but definitely not least for this favourites are some new products from Girls With Attitude. My first favourites from them are all the brushes. Like they are absolutely insane. This chunky angled brush I use literally every day. I use it to like buff my contour in with like my bronzer and stuff just so it's not like a big line down the face trying to buff it in a little bit more just love it this one i like to use for powder I kind of push my powder under my eyes in this area chin etc you know the brushes i use them on my face i think they are insane so with these brushes yes i was sent them i do get sent stuff from girls with attitude but again, like I was saying earlier, don't think that that would change my opinion. The only reason that Girls of Attitude ever noticed me is because I was a customer of theirs before. And that's pretty much the same story with a lot of brands that I use. I was using them before, I have spent my own money on them, I still do spend my own money on them, but they do send me things and that's how they notice just because I was a customer before. 
So don't think that anything I've featured that I ever do get sent is just me saying that I like it because I've been sent it because no, I'm not that kind of person. Don't ever feel like I'm bullshitting you because I'm not. Ooh. So I'm gonna just show you a close up view of them. I think these are probably some of the cutest brushes that I own. And then same again with these as well. So these brushes definitely do win me over because of how nice they look. But that's not the only reason why I like them. I do like them because they're actually really good brushes as well. And they're really, really soft. So yeah, I've been using these all the time since I got sent them. Thank you so much, Girls of Attitude. If you follow me on Instagram, you're probably already sick to death of me going on about these eyelashes. Again, they're from Girls With Attitude. My favourite, 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 favourite lash style that I think they've ever made is called Siren. It's the ones that I'm wearing right now. And this is what they look like close up. I love this lash style because they're only £6.50 and I think that the way they're made, they look like luxury eyelashes. They're all really, really wispy. They look almost like mink, obviously. I don't buy mink, I don't support mink eyelashes. So that's great because Girls With Attitude are cruelty free and vegan, which is a bonus, of course, and they're only £6.50, which I think is insane. My favourite lash style from them is Siren, but the whole collection that they just brought out is just insane. It's the mythical collection and all of the lash styles are really like fluttery and like really wispy looking and just full and just just everything that you want from a lash and especially at £6.50. This is a style from the new collection called Mermaisin and this lash style is called Sea Queen. Sorry that they're not all perfect in the box, I have been wearing this pair a lot. This pair is called Shell. So I'm basically just in love with the whole new range of brushes and lashes from Girls of Attitude. I just think they are absolutely slaying it at the minute and it honestly does make my day whenever I get sent a package from them because I just think everything is just so good and just so worth the money. So I do have a discount code for Girls With Attitude. You get 10% off. I'll flash up the code now. So that's pretty much it for this April favourites or catch up favourites. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!